All right, this video shows you um, that sometimes uh, your client might have a download area uh, like WVU's here, and they have places where you can download the vector versions of the logo. Um, so in this case, we're gonna get an EPS. And you can see that as they're showing it online, they're showing the lockups on a gold and a blue background but maybe you just wanna use the white and you don't want the background. So this is how you would do that. So you could download the file, it's a zip file. When I open the zip file, I'm going to see that I have an EPS and a TIFF. So an EPS is a vector file that you could open in Illustrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it to my Illustrator file. Okay, so when it opens, I see that it is, I can select the words in white, and I can also select the background in blue. So in this case, I have it selected, I'm gonna click delete. I can still see that my words are there in white, but the background is gone now, so I'm just gonna close it and say save. Okay, so I have saved over it. Now, if I come to my InDesign, Here's a mock-up that I'm working on. I can drag my file to InDesign. It lets me place it. And I can see now this has a transparent background. If I had not done that, a blue background would be behind it. Um, but this way, it's still vector. So if I want to scale vector in InDesign, I hold down Shift and Command. Now I can do the corner and I can scale it. Otherwise, if I'm just grabbing from the corner, I'm changing the box that is bounding the EPS, not the size of the EPS itself. So again, if I'm scaling, I'm holding down Shift and Command on my keyboard. I'm grabbing from the corner and I'm letting go of my mouse before my keyboard, otherwise that would stretch. All right, so then I am um, moving it into place. Right, okay. Um, the other thing to think about in InDesign is files are linked to. So if I go window links, I can see here that I have the background JPEG and EPS and another EPS. If I want to make sure that these files are always staying together, then I need to use the flyout panel and say embed link. That gives me an icon here that says it's embedded and that way it will not be looking for the file and missing it if I open it someplace and do not have these files in the same directory.